Hello, people out there in YouTube land. I am back again with another video. And today's topic is going to be whether or not or when to run pixel refresher on LG OLED TVs. Now, if you look on AV forum websites or you look on, I don't know, just, I don't know, basically forum websites, you'll see people <coughs> that say, excuse me, I'm still getting over a cold here. You'll see people saying that you're supposed to wait and not to run it until you have, uh, you know, 15 hours or 20 hours or 100 hours, depending on which form you're looking at and which person's saying it. Uh, but I will say this. I have contacted LG and I spoke to the OLED specialist. And the reason I did it is because when I did a 5% gray test, although my C8 was very clean, uh, I will say that um, there wasn't really any complete vertical bands at all, actually. Uh, but there was kind of a wide half a band, I guess you'd say, vertically down towards the left center and all the way towards the left there was also a uh, a little quarter of a, a wide one I guess you'd say I, anyway it concerned me and I I, I was reading on uh, on the AV forums and a different other forums websites uh, to see what people said about it and uh, so and I noticed that there's a lot of mis uh, information on them websites and uh, people will have you believe that you know and, and it, it's a new thing on 2018 OLEDs the uh, the 8 series that there's an automatic pixel refresher every single time you turn off the TV it's like a mini version of the the one hour normal pixel refresher uh, where it automatically does it no matter what after four hours of viewing. It's just something LG added this year. I'm not sure if everybody added it, but I do know LG added it. And it, there's nothing telling you that it added it, but I did uh, confirm it with the LG OLED specialist uh, through LG. And they said it's uh, something that was not uh, on the C6 or the C7 or the E7 or G7 or... W7 or any other series in the 6 and 7 series of OLEDs basically the only way you should you it will run is if you set it to run uh, but on the 8 series it automatically runs us a, uh, a shorter version I, I believe she said it's a 15 minute version of it instead of the full one hour but needless to say the reason I ran it is when I seen that the, the even though like I said it was very clean uh, and I, I wasn't going to take it back even if the pixel refresher didn't fix it. Uh, but and I actually did. I ran the test again and it's beautiful. There isn't one vertical band anywhere on any, uh, YouTube, uh, vertical band and test, uh, where before, like I said, I told you what it was shown before. Um, uh, anyway, so here's the truth. I double checked this I actually called Sony and even though I don't own a Sony OLED I pretended I did and I went through the, the whole steps to find out if, if, if maybe they had a different opinion on it and uh, I asked Sony as well their OLED team that if uh, is there a certain waiting period I should use, I should wait to run that pixel refresher test or should I just run it uh, all the time or should I you know how often can I run it and is there a break-in period before I should run it and Sony also said that they recommend that you run it anytime you watch uh, over they actually specified if you watch over an hour of static images 
in any channel, whether it's gaming or whether it's uh, a news channel, Cartoon Network, ESPN, etc. Uh, they actually went into detail saying that they, they recommend you run it. Even if you only had the TV for one day. Even if you've only watched it for that one hour, but that one hour is ESPN, they said you should run it. Uh, and the LG basically said the same thing. They didn't go into detail like that, like uh, Sony did where they actually you know specified channels and stuff like that. But basically, LG did say <clears throat> that even though on the C8 they, they did implement... And that's the reason why they implemented it. They said, you know, they they said that there there are people that you know the OLED uh, specialist guy I was speaking to. He said that LG actually believes that if people, you know, the the few people that did end up with burning, I mean, you see them on YouTube and you read the reviews on Amazon. I'm sure just like I do. That's if if you're watching this video, then you've uh, read it. So. Uh, yeah, but they're saying that even the people that anybody that ever has gotten it, they're saying if they would have ran the pixel refresher, you know, after watching static content, uh, they wouldn't have gotten it. Uh, usually that like a, they, they said, like, even if you watch the news, even if you watch the news 24 hours a day, uh, they, they use that as an example. They said if you watched and actually they said 18, they said if you watch the news and nothing but the news for 18 hours a day. But you run the pixel refresher every single day before bed. They're saying there's zero chance of burning. They said how it happens is watching a news channel or something with a static logo for 10 to 14 hours a day. They said that. I don't know if that's true or not. But that's the time frame they gave me. 10 to 14 hours. Uh, you know, every day. And, you know, over a course of a month or more, they're saying that's when a static image can become, become, you know, where the image retention won't go away and it starts to get burned in. So I, I just want to give people the information that, that I didn't have. Uh, I never had burning. I've had the uh, LG C6. I had it for almost two years and I do watch uh, a lot of Fox News and uh, I do game regularly uh, I don't game for eight hours but I do game for a few usually each every day uh, maybe not every day but often enough I consider myself a, a pretty uh, uh, whatchamacallit gamer a pretty uh, amid gamer or whatever uh, I mean, there's people out there that, that game a lot more than me, I'm sure. But I, I would say that I game anywhere from an hour a day to four hours a day. And uh, I do watch a lot of news. And I definitely watch a lot of ESPN and NFL Network. Uh, so, I've never actually gotten burn in on my C6. I did run the Pixel Refresher, though. I, I didn't run it every day. They're saying you should run it every day. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> I ran it, sorry about that, I, I ran it probably maybe once every week, Not maybe not even once every week, maybe just once every two weeks, but maybe that's why I've also never gotten burning, because I did at least run it. There's probably people out there that are scared to run it because of what people say on forums, saying that it, it kills your pixels, I've, I've read the same things that you guys have read. Uh, it makes it seem like you're going to shorten the life of the TV, and they're saying it completely doesn't. It's, it's been tested, they said, and it, it can only do good for your TV. It can't do bad. So, anyway, I just wanted to get this out there for people that that don't know this, uh, and because I mean, it sucks to get you know to pay twenty five hundred hours or thirty five hundred hours or fifteen hundred hours or any amount for a TV. Uh, and then, you know, a year later you get burning because you got wrong information and they tell you and, and people on forums will tell you you don't run it until you see burning. After you see the burning, it's too late. Then and there's no point in running it because there's already burning. Uh, now, if you see image retention where it stays there for five minutes, yeah, it will clear that up. But usually you won't even notice image retention because it image retention 
generally will only stay there for a minute to five minutes at best, you know, and then it goes away and you won't see it. So unless you're sitting there staring at a white screen or something or, or a sour color screen, you're not going to see image retention. You'll only see burning. Eventually, you will see burning if it's burned in. And then if you wait for that, it's too late. Now you got burning. So uh, to all the OLED owners out there who watch this video, run the pixel refresher. If you have a C6 or a C7 or EG9500 or whatever the, the, the older ones were, uh, I mean, even a C8, even though it does have the, the cycle that it automatically runs, uh, the small cycle, they still said, like, if you're a person that watches static content, then, then still run it. And I would say at least once a week, you know, don't don't sit there and be afraid of what the people say. They're not professionals. They're just people on forums. And, you know, if I would have listened to them, uh, you know, I, I wanted them known this. So... Uh, anyway, like I said, uh, after I ran the pixel refreshing test, uh, I, I went back and checked and the vertical bandit was completely clean. I mean, it's the cleanest I've ever seen on OLED at all. Even on pictures, you know, uh, going through different pictures online of people that had vertical banding and, you know, people that even had good panels posted their pictures. And I mean, it was so clean. There was nothing. It was just perfect. Beautiful. Anyway, uh, so I just wanted to put that video out there for you guys, uh, Hope you enjoyed it. Again, you know, I only do this to help people. Uh, you know, I, I don't I don't get paid to say this. Uh, um, you know, obviously I don't have a lot of subscribers. And, you know, I, I do this to help people because I know a lot of people, they um, they aren't going to go through the, the trouble to call or whatever. And, or maybe they don't even know anything about it. And maybe this is their first OLED purchase and... They don't know anything about this pixel refresher at all, you know, and say they watch four hours or five hours of news every day and a year from now they get burning. And if I feel if there's a way I can, you know, help maybe a hundred people, you know, and with their TV and not have to worry about wasting their money, then I feel like it's something I should do. So, uh, hope everybody has a, a wonderful day and, uh, you know, uh, if you like this video, please like it. And uh, if you want to see more videos or you want me to run any tests on the LG C8, um, let me know. Uh, and I, Or if you have any questions, uh, ask in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it. Okay. Have a great day, guys. And uh, again, I'm not a professional YouTuber. Uh, so I know this isn't the greatest video. Um, so... You know, <laughs> be gentle in the comments. All right. Have a good day, guys. Bye.